listen and let me rob my doctor tricks. Well, I'll tell you why I went to my sister's tapes and they had a tip of stickers and they cursed away. I miss Gore and the Lord is tucked, but please listen up. Intentions were good, but man, you still fucked up. You can't touch an art form like cars and you made the leader want to spit bars so hard. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Matty Ice, the Call of Duty Magician, and today you guys are watching another Pentamob. This is Pentamob 4 of Pentamob Week, and I didn't post a video last night because it was Halloween, and I just want to say I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Let me know how it went in the comment section down below if you guys went out trick-or-treating or if you guys hung out with some friends. That's why I decided not to post a video. I figured you guys were probably busy doing better things than watching YouTube videos. At least I'd hope I'd hope so. But uh, anyways, guys, today's a pentamob again. Uh, tomorrow I'll have a final pentamob about for you guys. But in this commentary, I solely wanted to talk about support, and I wanted to thank all the guys that have helped me get gameplays over the past year or almost two years now, I guess. So basically, there were two stages during MW3, two big stages. There was the support phase, and there was a solo phase. So for the first few months of the game, everyone played solo. People didn't even realize that ballistic vests and UAVs were a thing. And solo was what I played almost for most of MW3's life cycle. I'd say I played solo for about nine months out of the game's life cycle. And I really started only playing with support probably like pretty much at the very end of MW3's life cycle. And so I wasn't a bad solo player at all. Like, you know, I, I, it took me forever to get my first triple Moab, but that was because MW3 at the start, I wasn't the greatest player. Um, I wasn't really all that, all that awesome at the game. But by the end of MW3 solo, about nine months into the game, I had a 3.3 KD, which I don't think is too bad playing solo. And uh, so I switched to support. And the first time that I was really able to put a ton of effort into running support and running, you know, full teams was this past summer. You know, I had a lot of free time this past summer. And I put so much time and effort into running support that I kind of figured it out. I figured out how to get the Pentamobs consistently and how to get these gameplays. So in this commentary, I did want to thank my team because obviously without my team, my channel wouldn't be at the size that it's at today. I, you know, I wouldn't have gotten all the gameplays. And the first person specifically I do want to thank is Yums Crackers because Yums Crackers, he's helped me out with getting so many gameplays. It's insane. He's definitely the best support runner ever of all time. Um, he's, he's got the world record for the most assists in a game, which is like over 150 assists, which is insane. And he's just so good at running support. He's such a great player. If you guys aren't subscribed to his channel, please do me a favor. Go over there, check his channel out. He's got the world's first secondary pentamob with a single FMG9. The dude is absolutely insane. And he's a really good friend of mine. So thanks a lot, Yums. Now, next up, I also want to thank a lot of the main guys that I kept playing with over the summer. Fat Zeus, God Jesus, Bullets, Anuj, Fish, um, Incarnate. Oh, God, the list goes on and on. Dyslexic. But basically, what I decided I would do is I would... I went through every single one of my gameplays, every single one on my channel where I used support, and I wrote down whether like someone was in that gameplay or not. And so I put a number next to someone's name. So for example, if I put Z Bullets and I put his, his number, let's say for example, is 20, that means he, Z Bullets has been in 20 of my gameplays. So I did that for all of my support gameplays. It's, it took a long time, so hopefully you guys can appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so that took a while to get done. But I figured I'd do that because, you know, not too many YouTubers thank their teammates for running support. Like people think that, oh, you know, you're just using your teammates for support. But in reality, during the, la during the past summer, my teammates and I, we had a great time going for gameplays and just chilling. And it was amazing. The last summer was awesome. So that's why I wanted to thank my team because, you know, these, these guys didn't have to be doing this. They could have just gone play and played solo and, and tried to run their own support parties, you know, and I mean, they could have easily done that, but they stuck with me. They helped me get these gameplays. And so I figured I'd give them a proper thank you. So thanks to everyone that's ever ran support for me, everyone that's helped me get gameplays. Um, if you guys have ever been in one of my gameplays, let me know in the comment section down below. If you remember what gameplay you've been in specifically, that'd be awesome. Let me know that as well. And also, you know, if you haven't been in a gameplay, maybe let me know what gameplay you enjoyed for me most. So that's about all I wanted to talk about in this commentary. 
Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't really have much else to talk about, so I figure I'll wrap it up there. And I'll leave a song on for the rest of the gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, as always. Huge thanks again to my support runners. But once again, my name is Matty Ice, the Call of Duty Magician, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.